for prevention and protection, you have lecture number three, principles of protection for mayonnaise and radiation. I only want to like um, make a structure of the norms of radiational safety. Norms of radiational safety is the main document which regulate all fields of the usage of ionizing radiation. And this document have, um, includes a regulation for different types of activity. All activities with ionizing radiation divide by four groups. Four professionals or industrial sources, it's called, people who work in with the sources of ionizing radiation. Four patients, medical irradiation, we treat in patient. Uh, radiational accidents and natural sources technologically intensified. For group, each of these group has regulations, and group one and two, except regulations, uh, have categories. So, for first group professionals, those limits and categories A, B, C. Category A: professional direct contact, 20 millisieverts a year. B professional indirect contact, spontaneous contact, and C non-professionals. For patient, we also have categories, but for AD, BD, CD, and DD, and correspondent recommended levels. Regulations in this group recommended levels: 100, 20, 2, and 1 per year. All these values per year. Um, oncological non-oncological, uh, patients with risk factors, and all other. Why I pay attention for the years in both categories? Because in some situational task, you could have the results per three months. Because it's usually for personnel, for people who work in with the sources, we check in their dosimeters each three months. So you need to divide the norm by four, because 12 total months each uh, three months, it's divided by four. So five millisievert a year per three months will be norm. As for a uh, group three and four, they don't have any categories. They have the same regulation called averted dose. Uh, for workers could be used categories of first regulation also. And um, why would we don't have categories? Because uh, it's very individual. Depends on the situation. Um, could be decided individually. So four groups of regulations. First, into category. If we're talking about a regulation, you tell, for example, if you have a question, second group of regulations, you tell, uh, you have to answer. Second group of regulation for patients, it's medical irradiation, and regulation name recommended levels. And this regulation includes four categories. The same with one, it's regulation for professionals or industrial contact, regulation called dose limits, and we have three categories.